Prince William is seething. King Charles, you know, his health, it's being kept from us, um, from what reports are saying. And the girls are coming for Kate Middleton. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And let's get into this mess because this is exactly what this is. Kate Middleton, the girls are coming for her. Kim Kardashian was mocking her saying, you know, on my way to go find Kate in her car. Again, not that I'm a big fan of Kim Kardashian either, but for her to be mocking the queen to be is hilarious to me, in my opinion. And it shows how much of an international scandal that this situation has become. Blake Lively has also done the same thing, assuming the fact that, you know, letting you guys know where I am, giving you my location, kind of mocking Kate in this way. This is not good PR for Kate. Make no mistake, this is nothing big to quarrel over, but as a PR move for Kate Middleton, it's not a cute way that the girls in Hollywood are making fun of you over what's going on. Of course, the whole world is, but I've noticed that celebrities and people well with well-known platforms have been, you know, kept quiet. But I just feel like this whole situation is something to laugh at when it comes to Kate and just shows you how poor the PR is and the fact that at the end of the day, what's been deemed from this is that Kensington Palace is not a trusted source. If anything, that is a viable piece of information and the most valuable of what has come out of this scandal. Radar online or being Guys, we're just gonna run through this. That King Charles, his health is being kept from us. The royal family are, you know, keeping reports of his health not to worry the public because it's far worse than what they have presented to us. Not surprised that this is to be the case because he does seem a lot more weaker. But note this, the fact that there are death rumors about King Charles coming forth, Russian news presented to the world that he was dead, which is, I don't know why they did that. They, um, you know, read online reporting about, you know, his health being kept from us. Yet all of these death related rumors about a cancer patient, yet when they produce a picture of King Charles to recently been cited, it's very clear. There's no blur. You can see him. But when it comes to Kate Middleton, every single thing that has been produced is either faked and doctored by the agency's confirmation or very blurry and suspicious, which doesn't make any sense. Why is it blurry and suspicious? So to me, the jokes write themselves that with King Charles, a much older man stricken with cancer that is apparently far worse than what we know, is not only seen at events walking around, but any picture of him is very crystal clear as day. But when it comes to Kate Middleton, they just can't provide that. In the digital stratosphere that we live in, you absolutely can provide that. So that to me, is very questionable. But it doesn't matter if it's questionable to me. What the palace's aim is now is to produce anything of cake that is accepted by the wider public, whether it's fake or not. If it's accepted by the wider public, the whole situation goes away and everybody forgets about it within a year's time. William is seething, reported by Fox News of how this whole situation has been managed internally and also externally with how the public have been dealing with this, the wrath that has come against Kate Middleton and how, you know, things have come against her. He's really upset with that and did not like the fact that this is how it's been handled and he can't contain his anger. Well, you know what happens when somebody can't contain their anger? William seething, doesn't he have a pattern of rage? Not a good look, you know, when it comes to DV allegations in general, just reporting about him being angry and seething. There's always something about William being angry, William's rage when he was younger, William drunk when he was younger, doing what he was, go against his mother when he was young. Always about him being angry about something. And so, you know, I don't think this is the right thing for Fox News to report if they're on his side, but I can imagine that one would be angry if something's going on with their wife. Who knows? He recently was at a public speaking engagement in Sheffield and he said a few words mentioning Kate Middleton saying, you know, that's a seat for my wife right there. Obviously she wasn't attending, but that's what the seat was there for, for Kate Middleton. Again, I don't understand why William can't sit, stand on a podium in a public speaking engagement and speak and devote a speech about his wife. Why can't he do that? Harry's done it multiple times. My only reason for why I think he can't do that is because he doesn't want the attention to go completely on her or he doesn't want to be attached to it. He just wants to just like, he's been very like hands offish with all the wrath against his wife publicly. And I would think that a husband that is devoted would be defending, but he just hasn't done that. And I think it's such a weird take for somebody to do because any husband would be defending their wife. Subscribe to the channel, click that button guys. Three topics in less than five minutes. We do it very quick over here, over and out. It just goes to show you that everybody else can give you guys quick info, but they choose to long things out to make as much money as they want. And I'm just like, whilst we can sometimes like prolong content, let's not thieve out our viewers who can really just, you you know, appreciate the content very quickly so that they can get on with their day. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, free Palestine all day, every day with my chest. Subscribe, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.